Okay, back again. Now we've gone through um, this unit, the IMEX um, servo unit for your um, airsoft recoil situation. Um, so all these recoil systems are, are, are third party. So all apps does is, is trigger, the, trigger the action. Okay, ASP doesn't have any control over the action. It just says, okay, unit, go ahead and do your thing. In contrast, um, of course, you have servo. And, um, and now I've added the recoil back to the, to the Mako function, the original Mako function uh, on the underside of the Juno board here. So in the previous video, I showed you how to connect up this one of these recoil servos. And, well, in my mind, um, it does provide a better action you could certainly instead of connecting you could certainly still connect up the um, IMEX servo you could get rid of the IMEX controller and just plug the uh, servo that's looking after the recoil into into here you know make pretend that is your servo in your IMEX tank and connect it direct up to to Mako possibly depends on how the reverse is working so let's see that in action so we've I've got the tank on but uh, the engine sound off and I'll just turn the volume up a bit and hopefully no radio sounds and we'll fire and again as soon as the reload system is over reload periods over and again okay so that is the function the uh, recoil servo function added back to to the mako um, and you can just connect up under there you don't need now to buy an extra servo lead or extra servo um, to have the recoil function however however if you do have the servo you can really get into programming all the parameters uh, on here to trigger your um, recall servo including reversing the action and so forth so this is still you know if that that's good control this will refine um, the control of of your servo recoil actually just quickly while I remember um, but also by moving the servo some servo recoil controls back onto the Mako underneath the uh, Juno board there I can you can then have I've got at least a, a, a servo program for flak, for flak cannons. Okay, so if you select a flak Panzer as uh, one of your IR options, uh, you will be able to get instead of getting the normal recoil for a single main gun, you've now got servo uh, controlling twin, at least twin uh, flak cannons. And so I'll just fire the gun. I don't have the associated sound, but you'll see the servo in flak mode. There we go. So again, just yet another function you have there. To add. Okay, guys, back with another edit. I want to show you now the new place to connect up the servo board to your ASP. Now, since we have a dedicated servo port here that you know, looks after all your other servo options, it made sense to also move uh, the servo onto this port. Now, I've got it in with, you would probably get a, well, I'll make up some better JST connections or proper JST connections when I, I do ship the boards. But um, now we connect up servo to this port here rather than to this port. Um, by doing so, we free up this port for a permanent connection to an LCD screen. Okay, um, so I think that's that's a bit better. So I have uh, a servo connected up here with just the simple um, recall program. Again, <coughs> sorry, using one of these boards allows you to control, you can get into the firmware and you can control the exact actions of, of your servo. So let's uh, turn the volume up a bit and we'll fire and of course we'll just see the <laughs> There we go. So that's where we connect. That was a bit loud. That's where we connect up um, the servo board now to our new ASP2 unit.